let's go ahead and get right into this video. Understand you soon, it won't be long. Keep on, keep on What is going on guys welcome back to the channel hopefully y'all can hear me pretty well um but uh, i'm gonna go ahead and show you how y'all can uh pair it to your windows 10 without having to use that xbox uh, adapter and i'll go ahead and show a picture on the screen of what the one i'm talking about um for xbox so this one right here um is not the one that i'm using i'm actually using the same one that i am using um, before when I showed you all how to use your Xbox One controller on your Windows 10 PC without the Xbox dongle. So I'm using the same exact Bluetooth device that I uh, showed you guys in the video um, and talked about it a lot in my comments and I'm using the same exact one and it is able to connect to the Xbox version for these Turtle Beaches um, stealth 700 g2s that i have so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how i was able to get it to uh pair to my windows 10 device and hopefully you all can also get yours to pair it did take a couple of tries and um actually the next day because the first day i tried to do it um it would not want to do it especially because these also being stealth 700 g2s are bluetooth so it should connect no matter what Luckily, I waited until the next day, and the next morning I tried it a different way, and it worked. So hopefully this works out for you. I will go ahead and show you many ways of how you can connect it in case it doesn't show up in your Bluetooth devices. Now do keep in mind, your computer does still need to have Bluetooth capabilities, so you will need a uh, computer that has built-in Bluetooth, or you could even add Bluetooth to your computer by buying a cheap $10 or less uh, Bluetooth um, USB connection thingy and I'll go ahead and have a link in, into the description of this video to one that will work so without further ado I'm gonna go ahead and show you as you guys can see in the audio of Bluetooth and other devices I have my Xbox wireless controller under mouse keyboard and pen and I have under audio my stealth 700 g2 Xbox one that is going to be paired now just so I can show you guys that this is going to work as of right now because I'm going to remove it and then try and do it again so hopefully it does connect again and I don't have to wait another day for this to work because uh, I was pretty frustrated. So yeah, but I'm going to go ahead and show you. I'm going to go ahead and power on the Stealth 700 G2s and I'm going to have you guys listen to it power on. So as you guys can see, you guys heard that little uh, distinct tone that the Stealth 700 gives off whenever it powers up. Uh, it gives you the battery level and it gives you either that your um, headset is paired or your Bluetooth is on. And I forget that whenever I turn these on, since it's connected to my Xbox, it turned my Xbox on. So, um, but as you guys can see here, what's also cool about these is you can have your computer paired with your headset as well as your uh, Xbox and you'll still be able to hear on both ends at the same time so you could be playing your Xbox and being on a computer and listening to music or watching a video it's still going to show or you're still going to hear your audio and it won't really affect it that much as you guys can see under the Bluetooth and other devices the Stealth 700 says connected by voice and music the only way you can tell if this is actually connected to your computer the correct way because it would connect down here as you guys can see under other devices, it would connect Stealth 700 D2 Xbox One, except it only says pair and you don't have an option to say connect uh, like I did before. Um, so as you guys can see now, it says disconnect, um, but it doesn't give you an option at all. So it would always do this under other devices. I could always get this to pop up. Um, I just was able, having a hard time to have this come up um, under for audio and it does work with the mic as well on this um, providing that it does say voice and music um, so I have tested it I would can also do a mic test on it for you guys in this video as well um, which I'll go ahead and do once I reconnect this uh, headset so just to show you guys what I'm what I mean because it does pop up this this one 
and this one. You can tell which one it is um, also by the icon that it gives. It gives you a music icon and a little video and then this one gives you like a a little f tablet and computer screen or something like that. Actually this looks more like a computer screen but we'll say a smartphone and a tablet <clears throat> icon. Let's go ahead and do this. Um, also if you guys have just bought your Stealth 700 Turtle Beaches G2 I recommend on the Turtle Beach website, just type in Turtle Beach Stealth 700 G2 and it'll come up. And I'm pretty sure this is the same software they use for all their Turtle Beaches out there that require updates. Um, but I do require if you're buying your yours brand new like I did, it does have a new update. So one way you can check, um, especially with the Stealth 700s, is you can connect it to your iPhone and they actually have an app on there and that's how you can control your EQ, your superhuman hearing, change a few of the options on the headset to map it to like a different setting you could do with the buttons on there. Um, it's pretty cool and the app also does tell you if you can update or if you have an update or if you're running the latest firmware. So that's pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and take my turtle beaches and I'm going to plug them into the computer while they are turned on right now. And I'm going to go ahead and see if there's an update, which there's not going to be. I mean, there could be, but there's not going to be because I updated it like a week or two ago. So we're going to go ahead and plug it in. And you should hear a little doo doo doo. And as you guys can see, it's already trying to pull up the turtle beaches. And looky there, there's actually a um, late later version. Uh, for my turtle beaches. So this also might uh, help you guys for this uh, this issue that I was having myself. But as you guys can see what's new it says bug fixes. So we're gonna go ahead and update it you know mine as well. So it's gonna go ahead and say downloading um, installing go ahead and say uh, accept. Make sure that you leave your headset plugged in don't ever disconnect it while it is updating. Um, I don't know what happens but I can tell you from previous other things that I've unplugged while it was updating uh, it messed it up completely to where I couldn't use it no more. So let's just go with that. That's for everything that has doing this. So don't ever unplug or lose power, which obviously losing power is like, you know, it's inevitable. You can never really know when it's going to go out at your house, but, um, try not to lose power <laughs> if you can. Um, but yeah, just don't ever disconnect it whenever it's installing. It may take a while. As you guys can see, it still says installing firmware. Um, just wait until on the screen it tells you that it was successful and that it's installed. Um, otherwise, if you unplug it like right now, it's still saying that it's installing the firmware. What's funny is I'm not, I was actually not expecting another update. Uh, but then I was like, well, maybe because I don't know, you know, there could be some bug fixes, which this is probably the bug fix that they fixed. Let's see, version 2.02. .02. I don't know what I was at before, but we'll see if that 2.02 .02 goes to anything different. This one's actually taking a little bit longer than the other one. I could just click on it and make sure that it didn't freeze, but it's not frozen. So we're going to leave it to what it's doing. It's just going to install the, the software. There you go. If you guys heard that, I don't know if you guys heard that or not. You also will know, hopefully, like you did with me, um, whenever it's done updating, it just went doo doo doo, like it powered up. Um, but also, you can also tell uh, when it's done is when it says right here. So it says your device is up to date. There is no new firmware for your Turtle Beach device. Please check again in the near future as Turtle Beach does periodically release updates. You just hit OK, and now you're good to go. Now look at that, it did go up a version. So we were at 2.02, .02, I believe. Now we're at version 2.03. So that is awesome, we're updated. That may have fixed my issue, hopefully again, but we'll see when I, when I remove it and try and do it again. Um, but as you guys could see, I was able to do it before. So there's my proof. Okay, so here we're, this is what we're gonna be doing right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and unplug my Turtle Beaches real quick. And I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. As you guys heard that, it was like, doo-doo-doo, -do -do, hopefully. Um, that was very cringy. But uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and remove the Stealth 700s from this device. And I'll go ahead and remove it from down here as well. So now you guys can see there is no um, Turtle Beaches on here for audio or anything. Uh, you could also see... Over here, this is where you could also tell if it's connected, which it's not. 
So now what I'm gonna go ahead and do with your headset off, this is how I was able to get mine to actually pair. So with your headset off, go ahead and plug in your Turtle Beaches to your computer. And when you plug it into your computer, again, headset is off. You plug it in, you should see a red light on the uh, Turtle Beaches. It's not on, it's just charging. So what you're gonna do after that is you're gonna go ahead and go to your Bluetooth and devices. And the way that you can do that is this little button right here that says show hidden icons right next to my ethernet um, or internet, whatever. It should say their Wi-Fi or you know whatever, internet access. Um, find your Bluetooth devices or you could also go under here and type in Bluetooth and other devices. Just click um, enter or click on it and it'll bring you to this. Now, make sure Bluetooth is on. If you don't have Bluetooth, like I said, on, on your computer, then you won't have, um, this won't work because you do need a Bluetooth um, connection device thingy for your computer. Again, link down in the description, there will be one there that will work. Okay, so Bluetooth, go ahead and click add, and this is how I did it. I just went to Bluetooth, except before you click on Bluetooth, you go back to your headset and turn it on. So now, as you guys can see, um, what is this? Your device would like to pair it to this Windows device. Cancel? I don't know what that is. Okay. Anyway. So, um, go ahead and hold, or not hold down, but press down your, uh, your Bluetooth button on your headset. Actually, sorry, hold it until it says Bluetooth on, pairing Bluetooth. Now you can go to Bluetooth. And as you guys can see, it'll say Stealth 700 G2 Xbox One, except like I said, that's not the one. This is the one you wanna look for, Stealth 700 G2 Xbox One. The way you can tell the difference is audio down here versus nothing right here. You wanna click the one that has audio. So when you click audio, it'll then be connected. Now you can see it's connected via voice and music. And as you guys can see under here, audio, Stealth 700 G2, Xbox One. You guys can also tell that it's connected because it says connected. So, if you go under here, as you guys can see now, it's adding another playback device, which is speakers, Stealth 700 G2, Xbox One, stereo. Another way you can tell if it's uh, connected to your microphone um, is, you know, voice, music. But if you want to verify that to edit settings, maybe, or do anything with it, you can go to your speakers under here, right click on it, go to sounds, and right here, go to recording, go all the way down. And as you guys can see, I'm using my uh, Bluetooth Yeti over here uh, to record this video. But as you guys can see, headset, microphone, it is connected. Um, so you guys will know that it is going to work. So that's how you guys connect your Stealth 700 Turtle Beaches to your computer. You can go ahead and unplug it now. Um, it will stay on there. And one way you could also, you know, verify if it's connected is obviously put your headset on and um, watch a video or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and put these on. I love how these feel. It's so comfy, especially with the cooling technology they added into this. Um, plus, you can change them out, I believe, too. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. As you guys can hear, maybe I hear that through my headphones. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but. You might not be able to just because it's going through my headset instead of the speakers like these ones right here the oh wait where's it at this one right here speech speakers real tech this is the one that it's monitoring on my recording device so it might not even pick it up over here but uh that is how you guys connect your headset via bluetooth so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it wasn't too long and i hope that this helped you out as well with your journey to adding your Stealth 700 V2 to your computer via Bluetooth. So yeah, without further ado though, if you guys uh, do like this video, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and welcome to the family, guys. You guys are now part of my family, so uh, thank you for subscribing and hitting the like button. Also, don't forget to share the video. Help other people out too, you know? Don't be stingy. Just kidding, guys. I love you all. We'll see you guys next time in the next video. Peace. Hey, hey, you should watch that video over there on the left and hit the subscribe button on the right. Did you do it? Hello?